Our business is quite unique. The crop that we grow every year is not grown on the same field. It's rotated, so it's only on that field once every three years. Our farmers do, do not control the seed, and the reason for that is the fact that if we don't control the seed, if they were to control it, you can have variations that can happen by nature, which then can change the actual um, product itself. When we're dealing with um, certain industrial customers, their requirements are to such a f fine spec that if your product is not right, they can't process it, i.e. turn into a rice bubble because it is not done properly. So we control that part all the way through with the farmers. We've, we monitor the crop um, through all the different stages. Our product is pure every year, hence, when I look at my customer base, it's not just the supermarkets that are big users of our products. All the major industrial um, companies that are in Australia and New Zealand are all major clients of us, so whether it's Hubbard's or Sanitarium, um, they use our product, they would know where it's come from and how it was grown and how it was handled. And that's for them, for their own products, gives them the peace of mind that they're dealing with a company that actually cares about what they're feeding the people, let alone what other companies are doing with their products as well. People that work with our farmers, making sure that the product is obviously grown in the right way and then it's received. So we have full visibility of the product right through the supply chain. It's probably reassuring to know to, if people actually realise that the first time they actually touch the rice, or a human hand touches it, is actually when they open a bag of rice to go to cook it. So everything is highly automated, um, with the uh, leading technology um, to make sure the rice is, is pure. When we look at the microwave um, side, again it's, it's an area where we've developed um, some new technologies around to make sure that we're delivering the right product. Our, our regimes are very, very high. We have all the necessary accreditations with HACCPs uh, in our plants. We have uh, continuous auditing processes. We also understand from a food defence point of view, it's not always just what comes into our business that we have to trace. We also want to make sure that the product, when it actually goes out into the world, that we have a pretty good visibility of all the markets it's going into, not only once it lands in those markets, but then where it is distributed to. So we have an obligation to talk to our customers about how to store and hold the rice for them to on sell it to their customers to make sure that they themselves are also know how to handle our product. From a food safety point of view, when we actually do get a customer complaint, we actually go back and verify it all the way through to make sure that our own processes are actually correct. We've found that in some cases, if there's been issues, there's been issues outside of our control. It could be purely based on how someone has actually stored or handled a product that's actually called, like, caused like an infestation. The New Zealand supermarket scene is not just, hey, I've got a product, put it on the shelf. The supermarkets hold you to a very high standard and actually audit to your systems every year. When you submit a new product, you have to submit a whole series of other series of information around that product itself. It can't just be, hey, I've got a product, I want to sell it. It has to be driven by making sure that, one, it also meets a consumer need, there's insight behind it, but two, that it also does actually perform like it should do. Consumers, when they look at a product, they really need to read the back of the packaging um, a lot closer. They need to understand if the product doesn't, particularly like if it's agricultural, if it doesn't tell you where it's coming from, then why would you actually buy it? You need to have that visibility and that assurance. Ideally, um, the company too should actually have, have things on their packaging around um, websites so, so they can engage and give the consumer more information. Saying nothing is, is not an option. Uh, I know for well that with the FGC as, an, as a member um, and the types of conferences and discussions we have, we're always mindful that as a collective group, even though there are competitors in the room, we have an obligation to make sure that what we put out there is actually safe and right for the, and right for the consumer. Thank you.